All right, everybody, what is up? It's Thunder. Welcome back. We got some more gameplay here with the Weevil. And a lot of people are asking me in the last commentary what this camo is. Guys, this is not Dark Matter camo. This is Gem camo. This is the poor man's Dark Matter camo. This is the camo that people with lives use. The Gem camo, man. I ain't got the No Life Matter. I mean, the Dark Matter camo. I don't have that yet. Uh, and I probably never will have it. But anyway, all right, guys, so last video... Uh, I said the Weevil kind of sucks because all the hit markers. And right there, this is a combination of just bad aim and... There you go. I mean, that, that still took about five hit markers to kill that dude. My aim is kind of shitty with this thing, guys. Not even going to lie. Not even going to try and play it off like I got the best aim in the world because I don't. I definitely don't. Especially with this gun, I'm not really oh, familiar with it. I'm not used to using it. But according to you guys, the best attachments for this weapon... And did you see that sniper just completely miss me, dude? Did you see him just completely miss me? If you missed that, check it out again. It's coming back. He missed me again. <laughs> I love this game, dude. I love this game. This is a, this might be the best Call of Duty ever. You see the white snipers just completely suck in this game? Dude, if this was Bob's Deuce, you know the Vortex just would have greased my ass. I would have been done. Even with the kinetic armor on, the dude would have somehow headshotted me if this was Bob's Deuce. So, dude... I I'm happy. You, you guys already know. I'm a happy man. Black Ops 3 has brought the joy back, baby. Uh, <laughs> so according to you guys, the best attachments for the Weevil and every good commentator, good commentator out there, man, you guys should listen to your subscribers because you got the subscribers are extremely wise. Uh, so according to you guys, the best attachments for the Weevil is grip, rapid fire and fast mags. So I have not unlocked rapid fire yet. Uh, this footage was all taken from, I think, the weekend. And the way I do this, fellas, I usually play Call of Duty like maybe once or twice a week. I'll get a bunch of footage, then I will just upload it during the week. And look at the one. Damn, dude. What the hell was that? <laughs> uh, when I get back on my PS4 and play some multiplayer, I'll try and unlock that rapid fire to throw it in here. But anyway, uh, rapid fire weevil. Gotcha, guys. Gotcha. Thanks for the tips. Thank you for the subscriber pro tips. Can, cannot wait to throw rapid fire on this bitch. I'm sure it'll be much more effective. Because right now, it kind of gets me a little bit more hit markers than I want. Uh, but anyway, alright guys, getting into what I want to talk about today. So, uh, other than giving me tips and tricks on what attachments to use on the Weevil, you guys are a great source of information. And somebody leaked this picture to me right here. And in case you don't know what that is, that is a bribe option. For the black market, you can bribe the black market shopkeep. It says right there, you can bribe the black market shopkeeper 500 COD points, and you're guaranteed to get a legendary or an epic. So, <laughs> again, man, listen, fellas, five bucks? You gonna pay the black market dude? For, first of all, I don't even know if this is real. I mean, it looks like it could be Photoshop. No one's confirmed this. Uh, this could be a big joke. This is not 100% confirmed. But it looks like, according to this, and if you guys missed it, I'll link the image down in the uh, description so you guys can break it apart and dissect it and tell me if it's photoshopped or not. Uh, supposedly, the dude who got that image saying his game glitched out on him, and that image popped up just like uh, the player count happens to a lot of people. You know, the player count pops up and every once in a while. This game's messed up, man. Sometimes it shows stuff it's not supposed to. Uh, Funky-ass glitches is definitely no stranger to the Call of Duty franchise. So, supposedly for five bucks, you can bribe the black market shopkeep for a legendary or a um, epic weapon. And listen, guys, I've been playing this game. I got four days played in this game. I've only gotten, I think, two weapons, which I never use. I got the butterfly knife twice, actually, and I got the MX Grand. But for the MX Grand, I had to actually use COD points. Uh, the two butterfly knives I got just for using crypto keys, and I never use them. Like I said in my last video, dude, there's nothing you're going to get out of this box that's going to make you a beast player. There's, there's nothing. Not yet, anyway. I don't know how far Activision's going to take this shit. I don't know exactly what, what's coming. You all know the fun and new content is coming to the supply drops. I don't know what they're going to put in there. But as of right now, uh, like I said in my last video, I don't think there's anything that's going to make you a beast at this game. Well, a few of you guys disagreed with me in the last video, and you linked me to a bunch of Akimbo Shadow Claw gameplays. And, hmm, yeah, that Akimbo Shadow, Shadow Claw looks pretty nasty, man. So maybe the Akimbo Shadow Claw might be a little pay to win. Maybe just a little bit. But still, even that looks like you got to have some kind of skill to aim. Uh, uh, 
Is there aim assist? Because I know they took the aim assist off the snipers. Is there aim assist on the crossbow? I don't even know. But the Akimbo Shadow Claw looks kind of OP. And if it is OP, I'm sure Vonda Hot will nerf it. You know how much he loves to nerf shit. All I got to do is upload a couple of videos with the Akimbo Shadow Claw. And trust me, Vaughn will just nerf it. I mean, anything I like, he nerfs the shit out of, dude. Why do you think I had to lay off the CUDA? I don't want him nerfing my CUDA. Sit down, bitch. I don't want him nerfing my CUDA, man. That's why I had to lay off it. I don't, that's why I play with the Weave a little bit. I'm like, damn, I've been using the CUDA a little bit too much here. I know Vaughn's going to wind up nerfing this shit. Uh, so anyway, other than uh, bribing the shopkeeper, man, someone else linked me to a Call of Duty Bloodlines article. And I was like, what the hell is this? So COD 2016 might actually be a game called Call of Duty Bloodlines, dude. I don't even know, man. It seems like every time I hear um, about COD 2016 news, they're changing it up. First it's Ghost 2, then it's MW4, then it's Call of Duty in Space. Now it's COD Bloodlines. Uh, I don't even know. Who cares? We're going to find out, guys, in uh, June 14th through the 16th at E3. Uh, Infinity Ward's already come out and said they're going to have an Activision booth, and they're going to be showing off the game. Uh, so we'll just have to wait and see. All I can tell you guys for sure is that I'm enjoying Call of Duty 2015, okay? The hell with 2016. I'm enjoying 2015 Call of Duty. 2016, whatever it is, I'm sure it'll be good, too. It seems like Call of Duty is, uh, it seems like they're turning around, guys. It seems like they're figuring this shit out. Because uh, Black Ops 3, mm, really enjoying this game. Other than the weird-ass gunfights. And speaking of gunfights, don't ever do what this guy did, man. Don't ever chase. It's a noob move by this level 16 noob right here. <laughs> so this guy learned a lesson right here, fellas. Don't chase. Come on, man. And, ooh, did you see, did you see what she just did? Oh, I got you touching on your body. This girl must listen to The weekend too. Anyway, so what do you guys think, man? 500 COD points to bribe the shopkeep for a guaranteed exotic or uh, not exotic i'm thinking destiny for epic or legendary i'll put the image up on the screen again right here look at that shit activision is this really gonna happen if it does you know people will do it 500 cod points you know people will do it <laughs> you know activision just sitting back thinking of ways to make even more money damn these guys are good <laughs> right, guys that's all i got what do you think of this shit man is it legit and if it is legit how mad will you guys be Honestly, leave it down in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching, man. I really do appreciate all the support. Thank you all so much. God bless. Uh, if you enjoyed the gameplay, please don't forget to share it, drop a like, all that good shit. And I'll see you guys on the next one.